Holy guns, baby! Complete with epic music. Oh yeah! I'm doing a very special review today because I'm talking about Zelda 3! Yep, A Link to the Past for Super Nintendo. Now this was so epic when it came out in 1992. I think it was supposed to be a launch game for the Super Nintendo, but Nintendo decided, yeah, we gotta delay this game for a bit because it's gonna be awesome and we gotta make sure it's awesome. We don't want Zelda 2 this. <laughs> no, no, Zelda 2 was good. I liked it. If you saw my review on it already, which you, of course you already have. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, anyways, let's talk about this awesome game. Yeah, we got Mode 7 in here and everything now. Yeah, the whole storyline about this game is, it's sort of like a prequel to the Arizona games. And look at that, we got the king right there, and he's dead as shit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the kingdom has just been overthrown by an evil magician named Arkham, or Aramon, or however his name is. And he's kidnapping all the descendants of the wise men, and he even kidnapped Princess Zelda. And there's that evil asshole himself. And now he's taking these girls to like an alternate universe and you gotta save them somehow. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, so I'm gonna save it. Come on. Link is still asleep in his bed. He got the message telepathically or something. I don't get it. So I was just talking and I don't know, they can suddenly hear. Whatever, we'll just go with it. And just like the original Legend of Zelda, it's an overhead action game now. <laughs> and you don't get your sword right away, just like in the original game, you had to find it. But be <laughs> before, you know, you just talk to like a old guy in the first room, here you actually have to go to the castle to get it. This is a very weird start to the game because <laughs> if you're a casual player or something, if you're like Jason Glad Station, you can say, oh this game sucks, I don't get it, I don't like it. Oh why are you doing grabbing trees and all that? This is stupid. <laughs> But if you stick with it, you understand the puzzles, you understand the, what the original Zelda was all about. Yeah, you go exploring, you find stuff, you go in dungeons and all that, you find real goodies. And yeah, new to this one, you also get a very cool and adult storyline that doesn't talk down to its players. Ryan, you can do it, save the princess. Zelda is your... What? Zelda is my what? Come on. Come on, asshole. What are you talking about? Oh, you're dead? Bullshit. Get up. Get up. I'm oh, fine. You're dead now. Okay, let's go rescue that bitch. If she's my sister and all that, that's going to be disappointing. <laughs> Zelda is your sister, so you can't screw her. <laughs> and look at that. I got magic now. I can actually light up the room. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, and you still got a lot of the original Zelda, you know, cliches like you got boomerangs, arrows. Oh yeah, you can also use these chickens too. Yeah, Zelda Free introduces a lot of new gameplay mechanics to the Zelda series. Yep, pressing the A button lets you grab things. You can still use your sword, but now you can actually charge it up. Okay, coming near me. There. <laughs> Very short range, but still, it gets cooler later on in the game when you get different swords, different techniques. And yes, you can even throw projectile magic, like before. <laughs> this music always gives me the chills. It's awesome! <laughs> and it's just one of the many cool dungeons in this game. Zelda tries to go 3D here, in a sense. Yeah, here I can climb up the stairs. No problem. Here, jump down. Prize this guy. Yeah, yeah, die! <laughs> That's a cool way to kill enemies. And I can do it too. <laughs> But I just lose a little chunk of my health, and that's it. The game is forgiven in that respect. Yep. You want some asshole? Yeah. I can throw some pot at you. 
you need to go down a pit or something, it can help you advance in a certain dungeon. Like later on when you get gadgets like a hook shot or maybe like a bow and arrow, you can see if falling down in the pit may be the best strategy to advance later into the game. <laughs> the game is non-linear. There's you know, people that are friendly, people that are evil. The game is just filled with tons of interesting secrets and puzzles. Yeah, don't expect to finish this on your first try. But thankfully, the game has a very useful, you know, save and continue sort of feature. You don't continue right in spot, but hey, oh, <laughs> you can, you know, at least save your game and at least save all your merchandise sort of stuff. If you compare it to other Super Nintendo games like Chrono Trigger, it's working on very low memory. So the artwork is not quite as <laughs> epic, I would say. But still, for a 1992 game, this game does an awesome job. Very huge bosses. Excellent, you know, nice little touches they did to update the Zelda series like they should have. Excellent animation. Like, look at Link here. Doesn't he look so cool the way he runs around? The way he swings the sword? Actually looks a lot more realistic. And look at him go down the stairs. And now he sounds cool, <laughs> but it looks cool as well. Do, do, do. Yep. This is so a church. Come on, Nintendo. <laughs> I know Nintendo doesn't like using religious terminology in their games, but this is a church. Look at this. I can sit there and pray. And yes, you can pray in this game. <laughs> Once you find all the free magical pendants, you then get to fight, you know, the evil wizard himself. But do you win? Do you succeed? And what's this whole Dark World thing? And where are the seven mages? Where are the seven girls I got saved? Where's Zelda? Holy crap! It's just like the perfect action platformer. Sadly, once you finish the game, there's little reason to go back. Maybe if you want to find all the hard containers, all the secrets. I guess you can try and play the game, but I don't know. Once I finished it, or once I you know, beat the big boss and me and my bitch and all that, I had no reason to go back. And that's too bad because this is such an awesome game. I wish they made like a sequel for this on the Super Nintendo at least instead of having to wait like six long years for it to appear on Nintendo 64. Yeah, I know there was a Game Boy one as well, but still. <laughs> I wish there was another one for this, <laughs> this actual system and I didn't have to buy another Nintendo system just to play New Zelda. Ooh. <laughs> what would I give The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past here for the original Nintendo? It's awesome, baby. <laughs> of course it's going to get a high score. I give it a 96 out of 100. Epic in so many ways. Lots of new techniques you can use in this game to help keep the Zelda experience fresh. Let's get to some chickens and beat them up. Yeah! Woohoo! You want some? Yeah! Come on. I want some GSC tonight. Yeah! 